and uh, uh, the first question which I will be asking you is that uh, can you please share your experience conducting the very first master class in IFM Business School? Alright, so first of all thank you so much for inviting me and you have a very interesting audience here you know composed of um, students who are in their first year I believe you know which is which has its own advantages because you can shape their thinking okay? and also having folks in the in the audience who have some work experience and I think that's a wonderful model of cross learning and kind of sort of peer to peer learning so you don't just learn from me you also learn from each other so it's been it's been a fun experience and I found the the participants to be very receptive to the ideas so it's been the most encouraging part of my sort of gig, if you will, over here. That is, the participants showed a lot of enthusiasm in soaking in the stuff that I've talked about. Because, and it's good to see that they realize right away that this is going to be important in shaping their careers. Because they're just starting out. Okay? And I've had situations where, in other places where participants didn't really see the value and so I'm really delighted that actually they understand the value. They have the mindset, they have developed the orientation to learn this stuff. And that I think is number one. What would be the impact of machine learning and analytics and uh, big data in the present and future scenario? Because how do we imply this right now? You know, it's, uh, I wouldn't dare to look into the crystal ball and predict what happened five years from now. Okay. Because Technologies outpace our thinking. That's the whole process of regeneration, right? I mean, that is what you think is cutting edge today is almost obsolete tomorrow, right? So, and with new technologies come new ideas, new business models, new ways of doing things. So let's think short term. Short meaning, you know, the next three or four years, right? Five years max. Um, I think I hear a lot about retooling yourself, reskilling yourself. I would say bigger than reskilling, retooling, because you know, smart people can retool themselves quickly. Smart people can reskill themselves. I would develop the mindset. Some of the things we were talking about, you know, more qualitatively, that is the idea that experience drives everything. I hope I was able to show that experience is valuable only to the extent that you can probably come up with interesting ideas. But most companies have never used any kind of data to validate, to test all the assumptions they have about their own business, their competitors, their own products, their competitors' products, about their own customers. So, develop that mindset. You know, we pay lip service to big data. Why, but you ask people, why is big data important? I don't think you'll get a very satisfactory answer. So I think more than tools. I mean, do you need to, how much of machine learning do you need to learn? Honestly, if you're a business person, you need to use machine learning. You don't need to learn algorithms. Yeah. I'd rather that you start thinking, where can machine learning help me with my pain points? So first, the realization, it can actually help. Right? So I think mindset is far more important, and it takes time to develop. Dance skills.